I think open education is where we have to go. I think it's our social responsibility to do this. The video project came out of the necessity to rethink the way we teach uh, in medical school and specifically in neuroanatomy. The nostrils are here. This is the position of the koana. So we created nine videos in the first iteration, accompanied by about 20 modules for the didactic content. We then went ahead and posted everything on the web for public access, and the materials just kind of went viral. Making digital media is a very long process, so I went into it quite naive, um, not knowing what it would entail. One, take two, Amar. Zach Rothman from MedIT was instrumental in focusing us on what the medium could do. Um, and so we tried to get it to be interesting for the viewer, to have a hook, to make it really relatable to them and give them memorable moments that they could always think back to, to hook you know, the content off to. By making it more accessible, by having the content available for students and then postgraduates as well, I'm hoping that we were able to get rid of that neurophobia a little bit and make it more accessible and more understandable for students. A dynamic system of valves allows for the controlled communication and separation. There are a lot of countries who can't afford to produce media like this. We can't. And so we should share that information and with that, um, you know, facilitate access to post-secondary education for anyone. Together, these two systems allow us to detect and respond to the world around us. The more an institution opens itself to the world, the better it is for the institution. The more we are aware of you know, the challenges that other universities have and, and the more we can reach out and you know, really collaborate as partners to, to work on these more global issues such as ac access to information and access to education, the better it is for everyone.